is a live look at Bryant Denny Stadium on the campus of the University of Alabama, as seen from our sky cam atop the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. You see the blue sky above. It's going to be a long dry spell. We're going to easily go 10 days with no rain across Alabama. Tomorrow night, over on our sister station, My 68, Thursday night lights. We've got Auburn at Lee of Montgomery. Temperatures falling through the 70s. And then Friday night, we have Pinson Valley at the Oxford Yellow Jackets. About 80 at kickoff, 71 by the final whistle. The sky will be clear, absolutely. Absolutely no chance of rain. And for the college games on Saturday, the day will be warm and dry. Auburn hosting Penn State. That's a 2:30 kickoff, 87 degrees at Jordan Hare. UAB, the Blazers hosting Georgia Southern. By the way, that game is on my 68. 87 at kickoff, protective stadium in downtown Birmingham. And then at three, Alabama hosting Louisiana Monroe, 88 degrees at kickoff. The sky will be sunny. No rain concern for all the games across the state of Alabama on Saturday. This is water vapor satellite imagery, and notice the shades of yellow and red very dry air. We're going to go at least 10 days with no rain and possibly longer. And needless to say, we have absolutely nothing showing up on radar across the deep south today. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 70s and low 80s. We have 77 for Jasper and Pell City. Coleman 79, Birmingham at 80. 81 for Anniston, Gadsden and Clanton. 83 now in Tuscaloosa. Tonight, the sky will be clear. Lows tomorrow morning in the low 60s in the city. Some of the outlying spots will likely see 50 50s. So a new tropical depression is on the board. Tropical depression number seven out here. This will likely become tropical storm Fiona over the next couple of days, but conditions really don't favor rapid strengthening. In fact, this is expected to stay under hurricane strength. This is currently about 800 miles east of the Leeward Islands. This is the latest forecast track coming from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, the forecast track takes it to a point near the island of Hispaniola late Sunday night or Monday. And as we've talked about, this is a very mountainous island. Often systems like that are totally torn up. This could easily dissipate here. If anything survives, the upper air winds for now would seem to favor a northward turn, and most likely that would keep this east of the United States. But again, that's not carved in stone. That could change. But for now, it does not look like a major problem for the Gulf of Mexico. This is Future View. This is the hour-by-hour -hour forecast, a cloudless sky tonight. We'll see many spots in the 50s, especially on the eastern side of the state. Places like Pell City will likely see mid-50s. Birmingham at 66. Tomorrow, much like today, nothing but sunshine. A warm afternoon. Highs will be in the 80s. And once again, a dry 10-day forecast. You don't see that that often around here. 86 tomorrow, 87 on Friday. Highs for the weekend between 87 and 90 on Saturday and Sunday. Then this upper ridge begins to build next week. Heat levels coming up. We might see mid-90s on a couple of days as that summertime heat returns to the deep south. You can catch my weather forecast every day on great radio stations around the state, including in Birmingham, 98.7 KISS. And you can stay ahead of the weather with the ABC 3340 weather app. You'll have access to live radar, James's weather blog, and the 10-day forecast.